my brothers and sisters in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I'm so much glad this morning we are meeting to share God's word and I believe you are ready to receive God's word again so that God will do what he has promised to do in your life through his word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to ask to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray may your word go unhindered and may your word produce results in the life of your people, the healers, all those who are to hear this word, oh Lord, may this word profit or benefit them and Lord, impact into their spirit, souls, and bodies, O oh Lord, to become better people from today. I thank you and I bless you that you are faithful. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you for the resurrection power of God that I've been activated in our spirit to carry on with our the Christian duties. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm here to share gospel with you, and it's about Jesus, the resurrection, and the life. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. So that is hope and that is faith because all the religious uh, leaders who established certain uh, religions, uh, I mean, established religions all over the world, they all have been dead. So there is no life that you can get from anywhere apart from Jesus who is alive. He died and he resurrected, he came back to life. So uh, it gives us confidence and so much hope in him that at one time he was preaching, he lived 33 years of his life. He established the New Testament, Matthew to Revelation. And he began with uh, 12 disciples. One was taken to hell. And then they cast Lot and the Lord fell on Matthias, who was added to the rest of the disciples, 11. They became 12. So out of the 12, the word of God has gone to the ends of the earth. And we also have received this gospel of Jesus Christ as really benefiting us every now and then. Blessing us and has done a lot in our spirit and our souls and bodies. Hallelujah to Jesus. So Jesus is unique, is wonderful indeed he is the creator of heavens and the earth he created everything in the super and also everything in the natural supernatural so if bible says jesus is the resurrection and the life as he said it in john 11 then of no doubt that you should like doubt him you should have an unbelief you should be afraid you should worry about anything because if jesus is in your heart is part of your life. There is nothing to worry or doubt or fear because Christ in you is the hope of your glory. So thank God for all that Jesus did on the cross and he died and died for you. He bled all his blood and he came back to life the third day. What a privilege and what a powerful time because he promised that he would die and came back to life by the scriptures. He came back to life at the third day, but he came. How many people could die and say they could come back? Many tried in the past that they would even tell a church in somewhere in Africa that the end, I mean, the end of the world is coming. Jesus is coming. So they organized petrol and with marches, whatever, they burned the church members in the temple and knowing that when they are dead, they were going to soak a heaven. No, there's a real heaven that belongs to Jesus. He created the heavens and the earth. So Jesus still hasn't come as they were dead and gone, and that so-called pastor killed his members in the past. So please, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And whatever you are going through this morning or today, I want to tell you that still focus on Jesus, still meditate on Jesus, still keep trusting Jesus, because that is the only way out for you to get result at the right time from Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Because the Bible says, at the mention of his name, every nation about in Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11. At the mention of his name, every knee shall bow in Philippians 2. And every tongue shall confess that Christ is the Lord what? To the glory of God the Father. And we thank God for all that he has done. Just mention of his name, it can drive demons from people when they are possessed. It can heal the sick. It can restore life. The name of Jesus does impossible things in our lives. Hallelujah to Jesus. So let thank God for Jesus, the resurrection and the life. And so when we quote this or uh, to give you such statement, we are giving you hope. We are giving you faith. We are giving you assurance. We are telling you that you need to maintain unshakable belief in God. Because whatever God has promised to do for you, by the scriptures or by revelation or by prophecy, all will begin to come to pass as he has done before he will do it again in your life. So have faith in him. Trust him and maintain hope in him because he will still do that which in 2023 you are expecting him to do heavy duty in your own life. There's nothing that is difficult before Jesus. He doesn't know problem, doesn't know anything called problem or hardship. 
because he is in control of everything. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah to Jesus. So what's the meaning of the word resurrection? It means restoration. It means rebirth. Resurrection means restoration, and it means rebirth, and it means revival. Revival. So when you focus on what Jesus did, and he say he's, he says, "I am resurrection and the life." He's telling you that he is rebirth. He has been born. He has come back to life again. And he's talking about he is the restoration to restore anything that the enemy has taken from you or stolen from you. God is going to restore from this morning whatever that the enemy has taken from you. The Bible says that whatever the can come on, the pemogo, the caterpillar has stolen, God is going to restore all unto you. Restoration of health and strength, restoration of lost properties, restoration of rebirth and reestablishment, restoration of financial abundance. Ain't nothing that the enemy has stolen from you. Jesus, who is that resurrection and the life, is restoring all unto you. Resurrection also means revival, as I told you. It means revival. Ah, Jesus is bringing revival into your life this morning and always. It brings a revival because he stands to do or perform these miracles in your own life. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. So Jesus loves you and everything is going to work perfectly and that is rebirth and that is returning back to life. Resurrection means returning to life, returning back to life. That's what he has done in your life. So he's alive today. In Hebrews 13 verse 8, he said he's the God of yesterday, he's the God of today, and he's the God of forever. Ah, so he exists and doesn't die. So since he says exists, anywhere, wherever you are, you call upon the name of the Lord, the Bible says you shall be saved. You got a miracle. So please open your heart and uh, read your Bible with understanding and I believe you are going somewhere with your faith. You are getting to plateau, to, to maximum level in the realm of the Spirit so that you know that your Jesus Christ wanted to do so much with you. Hallelujah. So anything that you think is a program from today, I, I want to tell you, it's no more a program. So stop meditating on program because God Almighty didn't call us as believers to meditate on our programs. He called us to make it it on the word of the Lord, the Bible. Just read your Bible and begin to make it it so that the problem will live out of your mind and your heart. Never focus on problem. Problem becomes a problem when you value it. Never value anything that you're going to as a problem as important than God and his word in your life. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. So coming back to life, rebirth, he, he has returned back to life. So whatever you think is dead, is dead in your life is coming back to life from today. I prophesy to you this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever ministry that it is dead, marriage that is dead, financial that is dead, dream that is dead, I command life into it and I command it to come back to you again. Be resurrected in your life again. In the name of Jesus, Christ, the Son of the living God. So I wanted to share God's word within I believe. The word of God will define itself, will empower you, will speak the truth to you to help you to know that yes, you are on top and it's a privilege for God to make you a Christian and you are a believer, you are a child of God, you will never lack any good in the land of the living because God is with you. Let's share God's word. I'm reading John 11, 23 to 27. I'm provide. And I'm reading from here. Jesus told her, your brother will rise from the dead. Martha replied, I know that he will rise from the dead in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in others to trust in relies on me as Savior will live even if he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me as Savior will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus said this. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have believed and continue to believe that you are the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed, the Son of God. He who was destined and promised to come into the world. And it is for you that the world has Waited. Thou says God's word, may his name be praised in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So I'm going to the rest of the topic, belief. So belief here is a subtopic. Number one, if you can hold on to your belief, anything is possible. So there are situations that maybe you have prayed for many years, 
it goes and comes or you have that bad dream and uh, every particular time you dream that dream and does no go or you have a certain challenge that keeps coming anywhere in your life wherever you go you have that dream you have that encounter demonic one and you pray you fast does no go keep increasing your faith by God's word keep pursuing Jesus, keep seeking Jesus, keep praying and asking him to empower you so you can continue to pray and pray and pray. You see, we, you need to chase God, be a God's chaser as the deer panted after water blew. So my soul panted after the ogre. You need to be, keep chasing Jesus so that God hears you and comes to your aid or intervenes in your affairs to give you the particular miracle that you have been praying for. If number one, if you can hold on to your belief, anything is possible so anything becomes possible when you hold on to your faith you believe in Jesus because Jesus is the resurrection and the life number two if you can maintain your trust or confidence in him everything will work perfectly in your favor so which means the work has been done already but we have to work on ourselves and then work on our faith system faith machine faith angel we need to use some divine spiners or instrument to work on, on our faith system so that even if we are fault in our faith we can adjust some things and the angel begins to work for us so that when we pray with our faith in Christ Jesus we immediately get answers to our prayers hallelujah so if you can maintain your trust or confidence in him ever then not some everything will work perfectly in your favor no matter that believing in him triggers all blessings and hope and hope comes alive you see when you believe in him it triggers all kinds of blessings and then he also your hope comes alive in him you see when you have hope it's good faith and hope they go hand in hand I have faith but you see the faith empowers the hope or hope will empower the faith to, for you to maintain your faith without faith it is impossible to praise God it is impossible to get a result so then when you have hope hope is your vision hope is your goal hope is something that is ahead of you then you are using faith to chase so that it comes to pass hallelujah so believing in him triggers all blessings and hope comes alive because God is doing something new in your own life. Number four, keep believing in him. So it's a whole work, it's a work. Keep believing, keep trusting, keep praying, keep believing, don't give up. Keep calling on Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Keep praying, keep trusting God, keep reading your Bible, keep reading maybe two chapters a day or more. Keep feeding your spirit with God, so keep confessing, keep believing because the miracles are yours. Keep persisting until the situation gives up, never give in. Keep praying because the miracles are yours so keep believing in him believing is our connection believing is the tool for you number number five never entertain doubt and unbelief when you are believing in God for something you need to forgo doubt you need to forgo unbelief when they try to come in to worry you because you should not open the door of your heart for the unbelief or doubt to enter into you to worry your feet for your feet to be dwindling or going down down says there hallelujah to Jesus keep believing in him never entertain doubt and unbelief number six the tool for your miracle is belief the only thing that can take you there into marriage take you there into your destiny into your breakthroughs into your hope is just to believe it's just to have faith in him every now and then so the tool for your miracle is belief so keep believing in Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith keep trusting in him keep believing keep confessing meditating on him only because God called us to meditate on him not on on any other situation or a problem hallelujah to Jesus the tool for your miracle is belief. miracle is ready for you the miracle you expected is ready it's just around the corner around the corner but you need to have faith and believe in God the last one number seven be strong in your faith in the Lord be strong in your faith in the Lord number one if you can hold down to your belief anything is possible number two if you can maintain your trust or confidence in him everything will work perfectly in your favor number three believing in him triggers all blessings and hope comes alive number four keep believing in him number five never entertain doubt and unbelief number six the tool for your miracle is 
says, believe, number seven, be strong in your faith in the Lord. Be strong in your, in your faith in the Lord. Be strong. You need to maintain a strong faith in the Lord and God will do the rest of your life. May God be with you and as I share this all with you, I know from here you are going to pray, you are going to seek, you are going to kneel down beside your bed or sit in your hall and keep praying wherever you are. Maybe you can even uh, pack your car somewhere and pray but 10 minutes before you, you may continue and just add your faith and the miracle is coming. Believe in him and believe it is all that Jesus is as pertinent to do and the rest will follow. May God be with you and may God grant your heart desire from today. May your heavens be open upon you. The Bible says you open up the windows of heaven and, and grant you all your heart desire. May God meet you at the point of your needs from today. Thank you very much for your precious time of watching our live streams, the YouTube and the Facebook. Thank you very much. Amen. Angel has taken solo and dead and stagnation out of your face. From Friday the 28th to Sunday the 30th of April 2023, come join World Redemption Power Ministries as we present Holy Ghost Convention theme Shine Again, Numbers chapter 6 verse 25. Speakers, Prophetess Edna Shalom Sego and Deacon Kofi Otu. Your host is Prophet Peter Kojo Sego. The venue is the Church Auditorium adjacent St. Anthony School, South Odoko, Sakaman. Time 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. each night and Sunday 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. You are about to experience prophecy, healing, praise, and worship. Song ministration by Fire Voices and Power Voices. For more details, please call 0205-840-459 or 0504-418-271. Come and receive a new anointing for shining. Trust you have been blessed by today's prophetic Bible study. We encourage you to take Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. So, kindly pray with me. Oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Word of God says in Acts 2 verse 21, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive everlasting life or eternal life into my spirit. And according to the word of God, which says in Romans 10 verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, shall be saved. I declare that I am saved. I am born again, I am a child of God, and I now have Jesus Christ dwelling in me. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In 1 John 4 verse 4. Now from today, I walk in the consciousness of my new life in Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. Congratulations. You are now an official child of God.
from Friday the 28th to Sunday the 30th of April 2023, come join World Redemption Power Ministries as we present Holy Ghost Convention theme Shine Again, Numbers chapter 6 verse 25, speakers Prophetess Edna Shalom Sego and Deacon Kofi Otu, your host is Prophet Peter Kojo Sego, the venue is the Church Auditorium adjacent St. Anthony School, South Odoko Sakaman, time 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. each night and Sunday 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. You are about to experience prophecy, healing, praise and worship, song ministration by fire voices and power voices. For more details, please call 0205-840-459 or 0504-418-271. Come and receive a new anointing for shining.